Hi friends, today we are going to look at arrow breaking and retro burn in this video. These two terms are commonly found in the literature and what do they mean? Well, they are ways to slow down a spacecraft. Um, so let's dive into more depth and see what each of these terms means. So retro burn, uh, let's consider case one. Um, case one would be when you are orbiting around Earth in a circular or a elliptical orbit and the dots I have marked are, are the spacecraft and and let's consider um, uh, this as your direction of motion uh, uh, in the orbit uh, around the earth um, so so uh, when you're moving with some velocity uh, if you want to slow down how do you slow down um, well uh, some people say that just do the opposite of what you did to speed the spacecraft up um, uh, so the, well, in, in a sense they mean that use thrust um, to slow the spacecraft down and that might be uh, that might be surprising for some of you that how can we use thrust to slow a spacecraft down well that thrust is for speeding it up so let's consider this spacecraft zoom view of this spacecraft at that point uh, which is moving and I've, I've shown, shown the, the direction of thrust um, uh, so to speed up uh, the spacecraft has to fire thrusters uh, and if the direction of motion and the direction of thrust is same the spacecraft will speed up to break uh, the spacecraft if has to flip and then the direction of motion and the direction of thrust will be opposite and the spacecraft will slow down and this is called as retro burn retro burn basically means retro means opposite and burn means fire thrusters so let's consider this case where there is a spacecraft and and um, uh, uh, this is the direction of motion this is the direction of thrust so in this case what will happen the spacecraft will speed up uh, again consider the spacecraft with direction of motion on towards right and thrust towards left and in this case the spacecraft will slow down uh, so now you know how to slow down a spacecraft but but what are the effects of slowing down a spacecraft if it's when it's orbiting around the earth for some of who uh, who are interested in this so as we slow down the spacecraft it starts coming closer and closer to earth um, and yeah so so as you slow down you move closer to earth in in a spiral um, uh, now let's look at case 2 uh, for the retro burn uh, the case two would be when when you this is suppose this is Sun this is or this is Mars and you want to go from Earth planet Earth to planet Mars so you would typically use a low energy orbit called as home and transfer orbit now what is that uh, you, you need to see future videos um, home and so this would be the home and transfer orbit um, so so let me draw this orbit um, down here uh, so this orbit would be basically divided into three phases and it, it it's mostly used for interplanetary missions or 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 other space operations so the three phases would be um, uh, the first phase would be speed up phase the last phase would be obviously slow down phase and the, the middle one would be the coasting phase um, uh, so suppose you're going from Earth to Mars this is your spacecraft and that's your direction of motion and you you apply thrust in the same direction you speed up now now you enter the coasting phase and now in the coasting phase uh, the spacecraft just keeps moving in the direction of motion and you you just keep your thrusters off um, but but uh, during retro burn you need to do a flip of your spacecraft uh, you need to flip it 180 degrees uh, for the slowdown phase and and keep your thrusters off the main thrusters off and in the slowdown phase you the direction of motion is towards right and you fire your thrusters to a left so so the spacecraft will slow down as it reaches Mars and that will help it to uh, capture itself in the orbit of Mars and as you can see the most of the phase during during the or orbit is the coasting phase um, so how do you flip a spacecraft 180 degrees now you need to do more research on that now let's look at the other term aero braking well let's consider this scenario 
now that we are already uh, in the orbit of Mars and and we want to land on Mars so what do we do well we could do a retro burn and start coming closer to Mars and so that is your spacecraft and we are moving in that direction the arrow as the direction marked by the arrow and you do a retro burn and you come closer to Mars and you want to land at that site so let's zoom in let's see what happens there um, and and one point to note is as you go as you go closer to Mars during a retro burn your velocity goes on increasing uh, that is because of the the simple relation g m m by r square uh, so as your r uh, r uh, distance from the center of Mars decreases um, uh, that force increases and you're basically accelerated towards Mars and your velocity will go on increasing so so how do you slow down then uh, well the answer is to to use the Martian atmosphere um, uh, and that that is the basic concept of aerobraking you you use the atmosphere or outer gaseous layer of any planet to slow yourself down uh, so let's zoom out at the landing site and let's see what happens so so this is suppose this is the Mars surface and the curiosity is saying hi to us and and you want to you want to land you want to land your spacecraft now on the Mars surface and you are coming closer and closer to Mars but you have very high velocity and if you come with that same velocity you will probably crash on Mars so what you do uh, is basically you get help from the Martian atmosphere you you orient yourself in such a way that the drag upon you due to a Martian atmosphere is maximum you keep your thrusters off so you don't have to spend your fuel and the Martian drag will slow yourself down and you you can easily reduce your speed uh, and then you can land so what are the benefits of aero braking well this saves fuel uh, secondly yeah and very important point um, one one very important point is you need heat shields because if you if you are entering atmosphere and 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 using it uh, basically uh, you your spacecraft might heat up so you need to have some heat shield and then the weight would increase and the costs would go up um, and and so you need to do a trade-off study between should you do aero braking or should you fire your thrusters all the way when you are going to land on on Mars uh, so in summary uh, let's look at the two terms again aero braking uses drag retro burn uses thrust um, aero braking needs shielding heat shielding uh, I'm not talking about the usual radiation shielding and, and retro burn uh, needs to do a flip in the space so what are the few new questions that that might arise in your mind and you need answers for these questions is what is a home and transport orbit uh, how to do a flip in space um, how to shield your spacecraft how to heat shield it and I, I, I even mean radiation shield it and you need to know these answers so <coughs> keep watching future videos to to know about these answers and thanks